morning right this second it looks like it's going to be a nice day but then i'll look over to the horizon and it looks like it's raining so i don't know what's going to happen today uh, hopefully if it stays like this we'll be bailing and we'll get some bales carted but if not I've been mucking out and spreading some muck or something there's, there's always something to do with it if you like this sort of thing farming tractors cattle then remember to press like share it and subscribe to our channel it all helps get the message out about farming business i dropped all these guys in here last night we're gonna get these wormed and vaccinated and what have you and then took out to the grass that we emptied yesterday so yeah these guys are gonna keep us busy looking good aren't you hey you can see me Andy's getting on with the straw blower. Backing that up. So we'll get everywhere fed on the TM320S. Look at the muck spreading tractor. How muck has Andy got that? Well, I think when I was um, talking about rain, I was jumping the gun a little bit. It must have just been sun, sun haze over the hills rather than rain. But uh, I'm happy about that. We're gonna get busy today. Empty straw blower. Fatigue. <laughs> this could be Teagle. We lost a few stickers on along the way. I'll let Andy get out, out of here. Then we'll go and feed these on the trippy down on the gate. It's coffee time! Tea time. <laughs> or tea in Andy's case and Connor's case. In fact, I call it coffee time, but usually there's only me that's got coffee. Or my dad, my dad has coffee. So, um, last night we were, um, we, we said Andrew was a percent, didn't we? Yeah. And somebody who watches the channel a lot and comments a lot in, in, um, in the comments, uh, Jerry O'Connor said that he were feeling pretty crap, really. Yeah. Um, so his daughter's been diagnosed with um, cancer and it, it, it doesn't sound good at all. So I just wanted to say, and Andy mentioned it, we've just been mentioning it over coffee. Just, um, yeah, uh, arts and thoughts are with you at this time. And thanks for all your comments. Business. Right, we're gonna get these guys in now. They've got some tape on the tails. So we'll take that off and vaccinate them, wear them, and we'll get them down. Uh, down our grass in where we where we were yesterday. I do like these fellas though. You're tame enough, aren't you? Hey? Oh, and Angus lovely. And you're like, leave me alone. I wanna I wanna just have a bit more of a, a relax in the sunshine. Come on then, let's have you up. Come on. Come on, pretty. So so get that tape off the tails. Andy's showing me his lodgers now. Oh, avail available for people to stay. Sometime this year. <laughs> we'll let you know when you can stop there. Andy's putting tape off here. Pain, isn't it? Because if we were to leave it on, there's a chance it would cut the circulation to the tails. And then you know, just all the problems that you could have with either the tail dropping off or you get infected or all sorts of stuff like that. So yeah, people um, people do it so they can select the cattle out. I see the reason why people do it. But, um, remember to take it off. Sounds like these guys a bit fruity, man. Well, the grass is wet through, so it's not looking good for baling and all them kind of things. A lot of drying to do, isn't it? No wind neither. No. Some blue skies are on it, it's looking nice. Yeah. Come on boys! Come on! Come on then! Come on! Yeah. Like uh, he's got the camera out now. <laughs> they are following. Andy and uh, Connor are behind. Just um they'll push the, the stragglers up. It looks like these guys are following me. It's working well. This is fluke aside, by the way. Already mucky. Not even got to dinner time. 
So yesterday we were fetching cattle in, today we're taking cattle out. In, out, in, out, take it all about. Do you know what song that is, Andy? The Hokey Cake. Oh, yes! We are off down the old road now. See how much more overgrown it's got. This used to be the main road, this, Andy, back in day. Used to love it down here, you know, when I was like 14 or whatever. I could drive a tractor and it felt like I went up the road, <laughs> but I wasn't. There you are. Brilliant. Last time I came down here with Iluck, she got stuck. Like, only barely stuck. We're trying to pull cattle out, that was the reason. But we're going to try and... Uh, I think I think you'll be right. It looks fairly dry. It looks a lot drier than when I was last year. So we're going to let these guys go. Oh, they made a mess, aren't they? In this grassland. So we didn't actually take any out of here, but... I'm just going to add a few to it. That's it, kids. Run free. Where they go? Nice down here. Our neighbours working up ground. We have a New Holland. On it. Boost. We're now swapping vehicles because we've got more, more to take, and this one we can actually take the lorry to it. So, um, yeah, we're going uh, to take the next load with these. I'm just getting the gates open for me. Then I'm going to have to um, put the put the lorry across the road and block everything off. So we are just blocking the the road for just a second while we get these off. They're coming off nice and steady now. That's it, fellas. Come on. In there. In there. There were a couple of people held up, but it's sunshine, isn't it? People are happy. Like, we were all right. It was nice. They got to see some cows running into a grass field. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, they're all running in the background. So, I'll have a little explore in there, those guys. It's like Brian's fetches a uh, another load of barley. He's off. He's got the Green Star Dome on the top, aren't they? On the 6600. Nice. I've just missed him, so I'm having my dinner. I think Andy's been sorting it. So, um, Connor's on washing out um, cattle trucks. Andy's going to get some muck out of one of the pens that me and him are going to empty in a second. And um, I'm going to go and check on some straw as well, because fingers crossed we might get some done today. Cattle in the shed now, some good Angus there at the back. So I'm just at RSPB Old Moor. Look at this, there's a dragon there. <laughs> so I've just come up here to check this straw, but it's wet, even wet. It's just come out of the combine, it's uh, yeah, it's wet. Maybe if it got turned over, I don't fancy turning all this. And where the combine, well, the grain carts run on it. This is like really wet, like you could wring water out of it nearly. So maybe they, them bits would be better flicked up, but it's just getting the time to do it. So there's a bit of mucking out going on now. Andy's muck spreading it. Uh, so yeah, I just got to do a bit of tidying up here and there with this. Andy's off with another load now on the mighty 6210R. 
filled it up to the top. Off he goes. Boost! We're going down this pen now. And just keep it incoming. We'll get it filled up. A bit of hand signalling to hand in. Ooh, some weight dropped off there. I've just been speaking to uh, Big Mick over WhatsApp audio. Um, he's in Turkey and he's just been on a big boat trip or somewhere and he's like, oh, it's amazing, Joe. 20 quid, all you can drink, all you can eat. Fantastic. Went to this cove. Um, I think it was, it, yeah, it was more about the drink, I think, but like, he says it was really nice. Um, so he's having a lovely time. Just fine to let everyone know. Andy's down there. Muck spreader in a way. Oh. Andy's down there. Muck spreading away. Get on. <laughs> it's a fair way downfield. Ah, look at this. We got flash ash here somewhere. Andy's done the feeding up. I've been shifting a few bales here, there, and everywhere. It's time to get everywhere shut up and locked down. What's the plan anyway? So everything is locked away in the shed. What was that, Andy? Hey. <laughs> well, that is about it from us today. Looking a bit. Looks a bit suspect, doesn't it? Oh, you've got it on your t-shirt as well, it's fine. Oh, Connor's looking, oh. Connor's looking clean and tidy today. Right. I don't know how he's done that, because he's washed the like, lorry out and the thing out and the, what you call it out, haven't you? Okay. Lorry M twice. Lorry, lorry twice, sailor twice. Yeah. Well, disease control at its best. <laughs> um, if you've liked it, press like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we will see you tomorrow. Business, bye. We'll probably be busy tomorrow as well. We'll probably be Cutting corn and bailing and if you don't man. Yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed. Bye! Me and Ash are gonna have a beer. We've been sat on the Weybridge for ages and he's just going having a look at Ash's car. And um yeah. Beer or clock. Business? Business. We're trying to ring Big Mick as well, but he's not answering. I have spoke to him earlier. Thought we'd get a video call from Turkey. He'd be sloshed by now, but one hundred percent. Ah, Ash has got a, a, virtu a virtual mug. I didn't even get one of them. Ah. See you later. Bye.